This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are scanning for random targets and learning about excluding IP addresses in Nmap. Now, we've already learned how to scan for a single target or multiples in several different ways. Today, we'll check out scanning random targets with the TAC IR parameter. This looks simply like so. You'll type in Nmap, as you always do, and then TAC IR, capital R, space three. Press enter and it begins to run. So this basically means Nmap, of course, starts the program. The TAC or dash I capital R means that it scans for random, R for random, haha, <laughs> totally makes sense. And then three means I want to scan three targets. So why would I want to do this? Uh, I don't know. There aren't a lot of reasons why you would do a random scan unless you're using it for some kind of nefarious reason or you're just doing it for research. Now, say I want to exclude a certain IP address from a really large scan of my, netric, my network. We can use the same syntax that we used before for scanning s multiple targets and then add a little extra command at the end. This basically looks like so. I'll type in nmap and then 10.73.31.0, so that's for my network, slash 24, and we explained what that means in a previous hack tip. Two dashes exclude and whatever IP address you want to exclude. So I'm going to exclude 10.73.31.184, which I know in particular is one of the devices on our network. So I go ahead and let that run for a few seconds. Okay, so the first part we already discussed, and the second part is kind of obvious. It excludes that one IP address. And obviously, you can see it's not in my list. Now, you can also use the same command to exclude a series of IP address, and this simply looks like so. I type in nmap 10.73.31.0 slash 24 for the whole network, dash dash exclude 10.73.31. And then whatever the range is, I'm going to type 180 through 190. Now I know from up here that there's also this one 186.186 right there. That is one of the products that is on our network. So I'm going to scan and see if that one disappears from this next scan since it has been excluded. Okay, now that it has completed, I see the very last one on my entire network scan is .163. So we definitely were able to exclude 180 through 190. Now that's pretty cool. It can be very useful, especially if you want to exclude a whole bunch of things on your network. After the break, we will show off how to use the exclude syntax with your text file from a previous hack tip. Stay tuned. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive and of course it types like a keyboard, and it types very, very quickly. Like this week's pick from Tower Party Spot in the forums. Thank you so much for sharing this Tower Party Spot. Now this one is another prank for your coworkers, making them think that their computer has died with a few simple image grabs and then deleting the whole Windows Process Explorer. And of course he called it a uh, hilarious pun of tequila, aka tequila, which means kill. Huh, I totally get that. <laughs> and this is, of course, wonderful for pranking everybody, especially on April Fool's. Hmm, plans. Now, we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. You can use the coupon code SNUBS, S-N-U-B-S, with any of your orders for your very own signed hack tip stickers. Thank you again so much for supporting the show. We couldn't do it without you. We are back! Now, say you want to exclude a really big list of specific IP addresses that you've already added into a text file. I'm going to use the same list that I made for my last hack, hack tip, which was called list.txt, and I just left it in my home folder to make things easy. Now, if I cat list.txt, txt, I see that there's two IP addresses in there. So one is 145 and the other was dot 116. So, I see those IP addresses and I know I can exclude them, so for this example, we're going to use a little bit of a different syntax. It starts out looking the same with nmap at the beginning and then your IP address 10.73.31.0 for my network slash 24 dash dash, just like the last one, exclude 
list, or exclude file, excuse me. So exclude file is going to be the syntax that you would use instead of just exclude. Remember this because if you do not include file at the end of that word, it will give you back an error, of course. So exclude file space and then list.txt or whatever the name of your text file is. You press enter and you let it run. Okay, our scan is complete. So I'm gonna scroll up and see. All right, so we were looking for 145 and 116. If I scroll back down, 116 is definitely missing and so is 145. And I know for sure that both of those items are on my network. It worked, yay! I love it when things work right. Now, what would you like to see next about Nmap? I've been getting really, really good feedback from everyone. So thank you all for giving me really good comments. Of course, if you have anything you wanna share, you can email us over at tips at hack5.org or you can comment below. And I do read all the comments. Now be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, and definitely check out Mubix's show called Metasploit Minute over at hack5.org. Of course, I'll be all over the place over on hack5.org, reminding you to trust your technolist. All done. Done.